man, Charlie the box. Check it out, look at what I'm gonna have my box today. Actually, I don't even got my box. I left it in my freaking car. But I came to do a video. Check it out, look at what I got in my box today. It's gonna be a twist. See, we as people on this planet, we've always been ruled by governments like a communist society like China or by dictators like uh, Cuba. So as we go up this spiral, up this twist, we get government out of the way. But as I'm doing it, I tell you, sometimes I get frustrated. I feel that the American people choose not to pay attention to what our government's doing and what the corporations are doing and what form of government we were given and why we were given it. See, our form of government was the best government device for man's freedom. And our government is to make sure the people have the same opportunity to pursue happiness. And government was there to make sure no one breaks into your house while you're out making a living for yourself. To make sure that tyranny is not imposed on the people. And the freedom to express yourself, the freedom to bear arms, and limited government. But we as Americans really just don't know what we're losing. How the corporations tell our politicians what to do. How the elite are controlling our politicians, our president, and the global finances of the world. Do you honestly think the, the mortgage crisis wasn't engineered? Do you honestly think that the, the uprisings by the unions globally now aren't being orchestrated for a reason? See, right now, in all of our lives, you're at a crossroad, you're at a fork, and you're gonna go down this way, where total government control and the elimination of the United States of America and its constitution are down this road. But freedom and liberty are down this one. You could choose to ignore it, and you could you, you could believe that I'm totally full of shit. But that's where we're at in our country's history. That's where you're at in your lives right now. You could admit it or you don't. But as long as we ignore it or, or we think that there's nothing that we can do, they're going to win. Because if we, as Americans, got off our asses and went out of our houses, we can make a change and we can make a difference and we can fix the problems that we have in at least in our country but that's the obligation of the people to do it don't think that your government officials your presidents obama bush clinton reagan all these presidents have sold you out why is our military policing the freaking world you honestly think they're fighting for your freedom in afghanistan and in iraq To protect our freedom is to secure our borders, not to fight over there for them. You think the terrorists could do anything to us if we secure our borders and to make sure the people are freaking taken care of here? No, but it's to freaking check up your ass when you get on a freaking airport. It's to tap in on your phone calls at home. The Patriot Act is just smothering your rights of security and to live in your house without them breaking down your door without a warrant. The power to tax is the power to destroy. Why do you think every bill that they pass is always to take your money and give it to the federal government? Why do you think every bill that they pass is always to restrict your liberties and freedoms? Government is not the freaking answer. Government's a fucking problem. I'm sorry for using profanity, but right now, the, sh the, the shit that, that 
I contemplate the shit that I learn, the shit that I read, the shit that always goes into my freaking mind, the stuff that I think of, it just astonishes me how people feel there's nothing that you can do. This video it didn't come out the way I wanted to, and I'm gonna put it on just the way you see it. I try, I'm trying my hardest to do what I think is right. But it's a lot of really discouraging. When I look out there, when I look out there, and everybody just drives by, no one cares, and it really doesn't matter. Take it how you want. I'm sorry, dude. I really truly am. Because we as people are being led in a path that we don't, we choose to ignore and we're allowing to happen. Because what the elite intentions for you are, are freaking really bad. What the globalist intentions are you for are really freaking bad. The New World Order, the Bilderberg Group, however you want to call them, they're freaking going to kill your ass off through taxes, through freaking flu vaccines, and every which way to freaking just clamp down on your ass, they're going to freaking do it. Why do you think they put those naked body scanners in airports. You think it's honestly there to protect your freedom from terrorists? They made an order for those machines two years ago. But they put them in effect now. Everything that's happening right now on this planet is being orchestrated for a reason. All this... <coughs> All this shit doesn't need to freaking happen. All this fucking shit doesn't need to be like this. If we as people were to get off our fucking asses and make a fucking difference. I'm sorry for profanity. I really am and I try not to use it. But you know what? What, what am I doing, man? The day before yesterday, you don't I don't know. I came yesterday to do video, oh, that's and that's why I seen that right there. So, what's going on, man? How are you doing today? What happened? Nothing. Yeah. Just talking to you, gentlemen. Talking to the gentlemen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? yeah? I told you guys, once in a while, dude, this happens all the time. I'm trying not to do nothing, I'll break the laws, but you know what? I went up there right now to try to shoot a video, but I know I shouldn't have went up there, but you know what? I did. You went all the way up there? Yeah, I did. Okay. You're not supposed to. You know, yeah, I know I don't. Well, I just, like I told him, I was just trying to. You have ID on him so I know who you are, man? Yeah, sure. Can't Hold, see on. Hold on, real quick. You can turn it off if you want, man. You know? No, I don't want to. Okay. <clears throat> Do you come here often? No, it's barely the second time I came. Are you saying you went here yesterday? Yeah, I went yesterday. And, uh, that that ladder's been there, yeah. I didn't put that in. Okay. How prior to yesterday? I've been here twice. Yesterday and today. Yeah, yesterday today, that lab has been there. You saw I seen it yesterday. Yeah. Top, 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 top. Yeah. No parole probation? Nope, I'm not. Like I, had to, uh, like I said, brother, look, you check it out. I do videos on YouTube, man. I'm going to educate people. I show YouTube videos. It's just, like I said, I wanted to get a good freaking view. Sometimes I go down that, that airport, I mean, the freeway that's abandoned, and I do videos. I just try to, I come up with different, uh, I try to put different things behind me when I'm doing my videos to gain the attraction, to, to draw people in. And, it, and it's all the aspect of getting people to understand the stuff that's going on behind the scenes in our country. Because most people don't realize it. Most people don't see it. And I'm the type of person, I'm educating myself, I'm learning. And, and it's no good to keep the information that I learn to myself. It doesn't help about you. It doesn't help about him. It doesn't help about any of us to keep information to yourself. So as I learn and I educate myself, I want to teach everybody.
Charlie in the box? Charlie you, in the box. Yeah, a lot of people use that or they use that phrase. So if you put that three SBC BJB3, you see all my videos. And it's just through it's just educating. Ain't trying to educate the public, okay? That's all I'm doing. I'm just one concerned parent, one concerned citizen of the stuff that our federal government and our uh, and corporations are doing to its citizens, and that's all it is. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So appreciate it if you yeah. Sorry about that. Won't ever happen again. Thank you very much. Sorry about that. See? Causing no problems. See, I'm not bullshitting, dude. Honestly, I'm not. I get not really harassed by the cops, but uh, there's always concerns on what I'm doing because of what I look like. But you know what? That really doesn't matter to me because one thing a lot of people always tell me is, dude, after meeting you, I never judge a book by its cover. I see, but that's why God sent me here, and I like that. To a certain point, I do. Some people might get offended or get their feelings hurt, but you know what? Honestly, I'm a strong man, and I know what I'm doing with my life, and I know what I'm doing with my videos. So I hope you guys get something out of these. <sighs> I don't know. I get kind of frustrated right now. Just freaking thinking. And I think too much, man. It freaking hurts. So, uh, if you're not going to do everything in your power to destroy this country, America, you're going to do everything in your power to destroy it. I'm trying to block that.